it's Brittany from The Pretty Plus, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my final haul of January, um, my <laughs> no buy January, if you will, um, call it a low buy. Some people call it no buy, but I am buying, so I call it a low buy. Um, my goal this month was to spend $600 or less on groceries, and that is about having our grocery bill and um uh let me uh tell you that it didn't happen so um i know that i posted that i had already gone over um by the time i got to like trader joe's my trader joe's haul was like excessive right it didn't need to happen even though i did buy a few things that we needed um, it was more of like a fun family situation. So I didn't feel super bad about it. And then I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna just get the bare minimum of what I need to get, um, for the final week. And a couple things came up. One is that one of my friends works at a place that's local that, um, processes pigs. That sounds pretty terrible, but, um, they process packaged meat they process and package meat. So, um, sometimes she's like privy to some sales that they do directly to employees only. And, um, she lets me get, you know, she let me get it. So, um, we got bacon for $3 for a pound and I ended up paying her like a $5, like finder's fee basically. So I bought 15 pounds of bacon and, um, the, with the five dollars that I gave her it was it was fifty dollars um a couple things one is the package that I usually buy of bacon is 22 ounces and I need to buy one like every week every week to two weeks I would say I probably make bacon every other week um and it is 10 or 11 bucks and so these packages were three dollars for a pound um the savings is is definitely there for us. It's incredible. I'm happy with the fact that we did that. I do um, talk about buying things in bulk and stocking up when you can to make it last for a while and that's what I ended up doing. So there was that. So what we're at or $669 at that point and then I needed to do a grocery haul today. Um, some of it was covered by WIC some of it was what I needed to purchase. I think it was about 94 bucks total. And then I'm so sorry. I have such a unprofessional setup. I have to show you what it looks like. It's literally that like I've been placing you guys on pieces of bread. And so you keep falling down. So I'm going to have to resituate. But let me show you what it looks like first. This I've been sitting you right here. There's like a divot. It keeps falling off. So I'm going to have to reconfigure. I don't know how. And then give me a sec. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Alexa, put a reminder on that I need to like actually bring my tripod up to do these. Uh, anyway, um, you're now on peanut butter. Turned on the side. It, anyway, it's a whole thing. So I'll go ahead and get right into the grocery haul. <sighs> I think I was explaining how much the cost was. It was about 94 bucks. Um, for everything that I got, some of it was covered by WIC, like 50 bucks of it was covered by WIC. And then it was 44 and some change was the total for the um, groceries that I purchased. I will put all the prices on the screen as I'm talking about them. And at the end, I will share what the total for the whole month was, what we went over, how I feel about it, and uh, we'll, we'll, We'll talk about it, okay? I got three gallons of milk, whole milk, covered by WIC. I'll try to do all the WIC stuff first. Um, a pound of cheese, craft cheese, covered by WIC. An additional pound of cheese. Uh, this is like cheese slices, covered by WIC. Some shredded lettuce, green grapes, bananas, a seedless cucumber, two 
two pounds of strawberries. And then I got three dozen eggs. $3.67 is how much they cost here in like rural Indiana for eggs right now. Let me know. That was all the wick stuff that I got today. So then um, the rest are like, I don't know. Oh no, 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 no. I got another wick thing. Potatoes. That's a wick thing as well. Potatoes are expensive. This bag was $4.88. I remember like a year ago it was like $2.75 or something. So that sucks. Okay, so the rest of the stuff is a mixture of like things that we were needing and also things that like my kids eat for convenience um a lot of saturday mornings we do cinnamon rolls we haven't done it for a couple months we've just been really busy and cinnamon rolls is even taking too long but i think tomorrow we'll be able to do this so i grab cinnamon rolls cream cheese one of those things that i like the philadelphia brand better than the great value but when i look at the cost i cannot i couldn't do it today three dollars was how much this was the Phil philadelphia same one was six dollars it's just i can't do it it is a little more salty that's why i don't prefer it um but it'll do another breakfast thing these little guys if it's a dollar 24 or something like that for this bag um it's enough to do like eggs sausage a little couple little donuts for my three kids for one morning um caesar salad kit i really like caesar salad kits because i like the dressing that comes in them and i don't like the dressing that's like in bottles for caesar salad kits so i don't use as much dressing so i'll be able to use this whole thing um with the dressing and also like if i have an additional salad uh this there's enough dressing in there for like a, additional salads so this wasn't covered by with because it includes the dressing and stuff so and then Brett doesn't like Caesar dressing, so he'll just use ranch. Panko breadcrumbs. I am making chicken nuggets for the kids and me tonight. And Brett too, but I'm doing his grilled. Um, so I'll do, I'm going to fry, I think I'm actually going to fry them up. So that'll be really crispy and yummy. And then... Here's another thing I want to talk about. It's dairy, right? All the dairy is like, it's doing too much. But um, my creamer. Now, I can get a thing of creamer. It lasts me for a couple months. And I drink coffee almost every day. I just don't use a ton of creamer. That being said, I use the same creamer every time and I really love it. And so today, when I saw that my creamer is $6 for a thing of creamer, I was like, well, there's another brand that's not even the off brand, just another brand does the same flavor and it is half the price, almost half the price. If not half, then like almost. Um, caramel macchiato is the kind I like. So I get the Starbucks kind right at six bucks. There's like um, International Delight. I think it's 350 or something like that. Um, for me, it's like, do I spend an extra couple bucks and get what I really love um, and know I love? Or do I um, cheap out and get the other one? And then either I could love it and that would be a great, like, great experiment. Or I could hate it and then have like a month of time, a two months of time where I'm not looking forward to my morning coffee when I usually do. So... I just went with this kind. Maybe on another month where I'm not doing like a challenge or something, I could do the other kind. And if I don't like it, not care. But I went with this one. So there's that. And then the last of it is all frozen stuff. Um, breakfast, kids breakfast stuff. Um, they have pancakes that I got from Sam's Club. But I like switching it up a little bit. And even though it's basically the same thing, it's still just a little different. So this is the Great Value Buttermilk Waffles and the Great Value um, French Toast Sticks. I'm now kicking myself because I have 
loaves of bread that I can use to make French toast. The only other thing is like eggs are expensive too. So I don't know. Anyway, I can make French toast. I can, who knows. Another breakfast thing that we'll use are the patties, the hash brown patties, but I usually get the Trader Joe's kind and I don't know if I've used the Great Value one. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully the kids like it. No breakfast stuff. Jeez, my twins are breakfast guys. So um, these are the banquet brown and serve. We just microwave them for the kids. They're a lot cheaper than the Great Value one ones. And they don't love like regular sausage links that I can just like buy raw, you know, and cook up. They don't love them. So this is what they'll eat. Um, and then that is all stuff that's not questionable at all. Like it's all stuff that we need, use often. I don't feel, I don't feel weird about it, but <laughs> I think we have a thing of fries, but they're like the fast food fries. And I really wanted wedges um, with dinner tonight. And so I got the wedges and I probably shouldn't have in the spirit of using what I have, but I did it. It cost me three bucks. Um, I've been eating leftovers for lunches, but sometimes I just want like something even quicker than leftovers that like I can eat while like with one hand while I'm like typing with the other. Um, Hot Pockets. Probably shouldn't have done it, but again, I did it. And then the last is just kind of treat, treaty treat for me and Brett. Um, I really like the great value cookies and cream ice cream. I also like the moose tracks or Rocky Road. I don't remember. Fudge, yeah, fudge moose tracks, I think it is. They're really, really good. They're $1.47 for each, so it's a great deal instead of getting like $6 pint of ice cream. And then for Brett, I got the Carb Start, um, Breyers Carb Start uh, ice cream bars because he's still watching his carb intake. I should be too, a little bit. But I'm on a healing journey, not a, not a weight loss journey today, although that's a whole other... Um, video that I could get into sometime is like healing my weight loss traumas and trying to become healthier whilst also not going crazy. But that is everything that I purchased. I so like if this stuff is all that was like extra and I don't like I shouldn't have feel bad about it. But we did go over uh let me think probably right around 700 bucks, seven, no more than 725. Here's the actual price up, up here somewhere. Um, I don't feel terrible about it. I think I could have done better. I originally thought I wanted to do 500 for next month and I might try it. I think that during the week, during the weeks, like the first weeks, I had so much money to work with 80 bucks it doesn't sound like a ton, but I had some to work with and it didn't feel like I needed to like really work toward using the things that I have. And then toward the end when I was doing a little more scraping by, <laughs> I felt that a little bit more and we were actually making progress on the things that we have. Hey God, excuse me. So I might still keep it at 500 and um, for next month and see if I can really challenge myself. The other caveat to that is that we are doing a weekend trip where we will be in an Airbnb and I'll need to get like groceries there. And so that can be expensive too, depending on if I really like I can sit down and plan it out or not. So I'm rambling at this point. I will end the video and say thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy videos like this and want to see what my February um, grocery challenge looks like, then please be sure to subscribe. You can click the notification bell to know when I post a video. If you're wanting more of me online, you can find me at The Pretty Plus on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter. They're all linked in the description. And um, as always, you can find me on theprettyplus.com. That's my blog. And I will talk with you later. Bye, guys.